A few months ago, when we realised that lockdown was a possibility, we started to think about how the office could work remotely and how we could sustain a presence for the LSO if we were not able to perform. And we thought it might have been a much more gradual thing, but suddenly we were faced with a closure of the Barbican. And within three days, we had a new platform up and running, um, always playing. And that had archive LSO concerts on it, which we amplified with the musicians performing and playing and, and, and speaking from their homes and with the artists that were involved in the concerts speaking about their situation in lockdown and also the music itself. And we found that this was a great way of sustaining the LSO's presence with its audiences, not just here in the UK, but globally. And within a month, we had a lot of our music education projects online as well. And I sometimes say to people that, that we advanced our digital strategy by three years in three months. We already had the basis from which to start to do this, but we were building it. And suddenly we had a need to really advance it. And so here at LSO St. Luke's, there has always been a very strong digital strategy, but this building has been open 17 years now. And of course we needed to upgrade the equipment. And so what's been one of the, the greatest gifts through lockdown is being able to have this fantastic equipment from Yamaha, because this sets us up for the next phase of work. Today we're back here at LSO St. Luke's to rehearse for a series of concerts that are going out this summer. I'm really excited because, of course, for the last four months I haven't played my violin with anybody else. It's just been solo playing at home, practicing. So today I'm waiting for my friend Julian and we're going to rehearse violin duos. To, so to actually make music with someone is going to be the most amazing feeling in the world. Although the concerts are being streamed and we can't have an audience yet, it's an amazing feeling to just know there are people watching the concert through the live feed. We've put on so many archive concerts in the last four months through the orchestra, which has been great, really great way to engage with our audiences who can't come to concerts. But knowing there are going to be people actually watching at that time of the concert is going to be so special. In recent years, the LSO has had such a busy international schedule. We've always traveled the globe since we were set up in 1904, and we'll continue to travel, but the scale of that travel needs to be reviewed. Environmentally, we have to think of the impact on the planet, and we have to be smarter about how we move around. And we also have to think about the impact on people's personal lives. Musicians have families, they have other things in their lives apart from their playing. And if you are abroad as much as we have been in recent years, I think it takes a toll. And I think what we've learned in lockdown is that there's a way of keeping in touch with our supporters internationally and indeed developing new audiences internationally through the digital medium. You probably know that, that we set up our own orchestra recording label 20 years ago. It's called LSO Live. And that has really been the catalyst for all our digital work. The fact that we owned our own intellectual property and then could use that in different ways. So 
Nowadays, um, since we've moved into audiovisual as well as in audio, we can repurpose some of those performances for our education program. And we can make a whole range of uses of one recording. Um, and now having state-of-the-art equipment here at LSO St. Luke's means that we can do that much more easily. And it's such a beautiful building. It looks wonderful uh, on screen. And so I think there's immense scope for what we can do. And this extraordinary equipment provided by Yamaha has enabled us to take our digital projects forward in a way that we couldn't have dreamt of in a remarkably short space of time.